Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to use, not lose, use Google Lens. Now Google Lens is the latest AI tool released by Google. And the whole idea is for you to be able to use AI technology in your smartphone or your computer to look at an object, have AI identify it, and then get more information about that object. A lot of times in our world, when we are looking to describe things, we can't always put it into words. So Google is like, why don't we use our smartphones and AI to help us identify and get answers for common things in life. Before we take a little bit longer look at Google Lens, always remember that if you like content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your non-tech friends that are looking to get more out of the technology they use. So Google Lens has been around, well, in a variety of aspects for a little bit. So Google started out with Google Goggles, which used AI, or not AI, well, yes, like a form of AI to identify objects in the real world. Then you had tools such as Google Translate and other Google tools that allowed people to utilize AI in order, and their smartphones in order to get the information that they want. But with Google Goggles, well, I should say Google Lenses instead of Google Goggles, and that's probably going to pop up a lot during this video because that's all I'm thinking about. Um, lenses taking things to a new, uh, new level because AI and generative AI has definitely helped. And it's along the lines of everything else Google has released AI related, such as Gemini and I can't even think of the other tools. But anyway, let's take a look at Google Lens and see how you can access it on both the computer and on your smartphone. So if you go, well, let's switch to Google Lens and you can download Google Lens available for both the iPhone and your Android devices. And as you can see from this section here on the Google Lens, lens.google page, it looks like a little camera icon. Now, if you open up a new Google window, you can go to Google Lens right about, and let me switch accounts. So that we can see it here. So if you go search by image, you can click on Google Lens and it'll automatically upload an image. But also you can utilize Google Lens by using your smartphone. So give me a second and we're going to open up screen share and I'm going to connect my iPhone to this computer. Give it a few seconds and there we go. We're there. We're mirroring. And to access Google Lens on our computer, it's just a matter of going to Google. Once you download the Google app, of course, and then you've got access to Google Lens, which is right here. Now, one of the things that I want to mention with Google Lens is the fact that you've got several options within the Google app, which are kind of lens worthy. So you have search for lenses or search for recent things with Google Lens. You can also, if we go back, go to Google Translate, which uses a form of Google Lens. Also, if we go back, there is Google Homework. There's my messy desktop, so you can scan items and things with text with Google, as you can see, for example, there. And then finally, if we go to the last section, you can use Google Voice Search, which is a form of lens to listen to things on your Google account with Google Lens. But one of the challenges with Google Lens that a lot of people have is how exactly am I going to use lens with my day-to-day -day life? And it can be challenging if you just sit there and go, what do I do? So I put together this video to kind of help you think about ways that you can use Google Lens 
in order to get more out of this awesome AI program. So let's start. So number one, you can use Google Lens to scan artwork, whether it be statues or pictures. Google Lens, with just aiming your phone at the object, would utilize the power of AI and the internet to find out specific pieces of artwork and you can find out who actually created. Next on our list as far as using Google Lens, one of the things that I think is hilarious on social media is people that try to identify bugs and plants. And I know that you've seen it. There's someone who may think that they have a recluse spider in their home. Or if a specific plant starts to grow in their yard, they want to know if it's a good plant, a bad plant, and you can utilize Google Lens to do that. Google's got access to millions of pieces of information that if you use Google Lens and scan it, then it will find that item and help you identify things in your yard, which I know is super important, right? Yeah, it depends on what you do. Next is one of my favorite things to do with Google Lens, and that is for you note takers out there, you can use Google Lens to capture pictures and images, or not images, I just said that with pictures, pictures and text and digitize it in a form that you can upload to a website or you can download and utilize in your Google Drive account or other online web-based cloud accounts out there. Now, for you note takers, things can happen when you take paper, paper notes. The notes can get ruined, um, to get thrown away, but with Google Lens, you can keep that stuff forever and digitize it so that you can send it to people who need that information and don't have to decipher your, your text or your images to find out what you are talking about. Another good use for Google Lens is if you're traveling, you can use Google Lens as your portable AI translator. Google Lens includes Google Translator and other tools that will allow you to interpret what is going on in the world around you when you travel. You can identify food items, which I think it's a good idea. You can also identify signs and uh, other images to find out what it is that you need to accomplish or what information you need in order to help you navigate whatever city that you're in. Another tool for us parents that struggle with homework. How can I use Google Lens? Pretty simple. Google Lens has the ability to help kids with their homework. Download the Google app onto your smartphone and allow your child, if they are struggling with some area as far as homework is concerned, to use Google Lens to help translate those problems into answers and also help in the process of helping children discover how they got from point A to point Z. Because a lot of this AI usage, parents think, is not good, but when you utilize AI and AI tools like Google Lens appropriately, then you're able to help kids get the answers that they want, want and also use the process to figure out how they arrived at the solution. Another popular tool or way that you can use Google Lens is to make sure that you can use Google Lens to shop for just about anything. If you're in a store and maybe you're traveling and you want to remember where that item was or if you're scanning clothing online or see somebody with an article of clothing, you can utilize Google Lens and scan that article of clothing and find out exactly where you can purchase that item on the internet. One other thing, and I think I mentioned this earlier, is with Google Lens. You can identify food, and I think I did say that during the travel section of that. But yeah, use Google Lens if you're looking for food items and you want to find out if it's sold someplace else. Utilize Google Lens. 
because it definitely can help you find anything that you want. And I think that's the whole purpose of Google Lens is that if you can't articulate or if you can't remember, then use Google Lens and let it work for you. Because in this age of AI, the whole idea is to get AI to work as a tool to help us enhance our lives, but not necessarily think that AI is going to take over and ruin the world. So with that said, I hope this answers some of the questions of how you can utilize Google Lens in your work and at home to help you get more out of this powerful AI tool out there. So my goal with every video is to help open you up to a whole new world of ideas and experiences using technology. My, I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So get out there and use Google Lens and take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.